Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. In fact, guys, this is the reason why Moses Caicedo jail is holding. This is the reason why there is some little disagreement between Chelsea and Brighton. And this is it, guys. This is it. Exclusive Chelsea and Brighton is closing on agreement for Moses Caicedo fee around 80 to 85 million plus bonuses. Understand the issue is that Brighton is not happy with Chelsea Way's structure of the payment. Brighton wants Chelsea to pay the huge amount of the fee upfront, but Chelsea wish to pay in three installments. In fact, Brighton wants Chelsea to pay the 85 million fee at once, fully at once, and Chelsea wants to proportion it and pay it in three installments, guys. Chelsea wants to pay. Moses Caicedo 85 million deal, three installment, that is three season. But Brighton want Chelsea to pay it up front, fully at once, within a season, all the 85 million. Yes. So that is a disagreement for now. Brighton and Chelsea do not agree on the payment structure for Moses Caicedo transfer. Brighton and Chelsea do not agree on the payment structure in which Chelsea want to pay all the 85 million within three seasons. That is three installments. But Brighton want Chelsea to pay it at once fully within a season. So guys, this is the reason why the deal is holding. Although they are still discussing, they are still negotiating, but the problem now lies on the payment structure. As I said, Brighton want Chelsea to pay all the 85 million. And Chelsea want to pay it in three seasons. That is three installment. So that is the reason why. And that is a simple reason why. The deal is still holding. Guys. So let's hope. The next thing that we'll hear. Brighton and Chelsea agree on the payment structure. So that the deal move on. And Caicedo become Chelsea player. So guys. That is the reason. Let me hear from you. And let me hear your thought under the comment section. And Chelsea continue their interest to sign Dusan Valhovic. And this is it. Understand, Dusan Valhovic could leave Juve, but only for an important buy. He's one of four strikers being considered by PSG. Chelsea are currently not negotiating for Valhovic despite reports. CFC and buy appreciate Dusan, but having open talks are still stand. So guys, that is the latest information for Duzan. In fact, Chelsea is interested to sign Duzan. And Pochettino is a big fan of Duzan Valovic, guys. But Chelsea haven't submitted an official bad yet. Yes, Chelsea haven't submitted an official bad yet. But the likes of Bayern Munich and PSG also have Duzan on the list. Yes, the possible striker they may sign. And... During Mauricio Pochettino press conference, guys, when he was asked whether Chelsea will sign another striker, he didn't deny it and he didn't rule it out. He said after preseason, it will determine whether Chelsea should sign another striker or not. Yes, that is what Pochettino said during his first press conference. He said during the preseason in United States, it will justify and it will confirm that Chelsea should sign another striker or not. So, in the coming weeks and in the coming days, we will get more information about this Duzan transfer, guys. Whether Chelsea will sign him or not. Especially after the preseason. Yes, we will get more in details. Whether Chelsea will sign Duzan or not. And... Do Chelsea need a striker? Question here, guys. Do Chelsea need a striker? Yes, indeed, Chelsea, we need a striker. We need a striker. When you look at all those front players we have, Chelsea, they are all versatile players. They can play as striker and they can play as other positions. That is attacking midfield and left wing and right wing. But when you look at Dusan Valhovic, his main duty is to play as striker. In fact, main traditional number nine and chelsea we don't have such striker in our squad for now someone whose position 
and traditional and main duty to play as number nine. Yes, because Duzan is a player who, who is not versatile. Yes, he's a player who is not versatile. He only play a striking position number nine. That is all. And we need that kind of quality in Chelsea Young squad, especially in the Premier League, where the defenders are strong, where the defenders are very good. We need a proper number nine. Chelsea need a proper number nine to bully and to disturb and to make Premier League defenders unstable. Yes, so that he will give us the goals. Yes, Chelsea, we need a proper number nine. And Dozan can be the man to lead our front line, to give us the goals, week in, week out, season in, season out. Because we've been missing that for so long, seasons upon season. Since Diago Costa left Chelsea, we never seen a proper number nine, proper striker giving just goals week in, week out, seasons upon seasons. Yes, Chelsea missed that. So, Dozan will be the right man, and Chelsea need to go for him quickly because PSG and Bayern Munich, they are also monitoring. PSG and Bayern Munich are also monitoring. So, Chelsea need to work and to act quickly and go and sign him. Yes, because the likes of Nkunku, Nicolas, they can play as strikers, okay, but their main duty is not a striking position. So, guys, that is the information for Dusan Volovic. Chelsea is interested, but Chelsea haven't submitted an official buy. And there is information that Chelsea will send intermediaries to Juventus to show their interest in Dusan Volovic. So, guys, let's hope this happen. Let's hope this happen. Yes. Because Chelsea need him and Chelsea need a proper number nine. Yes. So, guys, that is the information for Dusan Volovic. Let me hear your opinion and your thought under the comment section. And please, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far. And Ditro Fafana, the Chelsea Wonder Kid, guys. The next Drogba, Ditro Fafana. He will go into Union Berlin in German for Loon. And this is it, guys. David Ditro Fafana, one step away from joining Union Berlin on Loon. Chelsea and Union are at final stage of negotiation as called by Bord. Loan deal won't include any buy option clause. Final green light from the player is now expected soon. That is good. That is good move for, for Fana. In fact, because the likes of Nkunku, Nicolas, and other strikers to arrive, there's no way for Fana will get game time at Chelsea. So going to Berlin, in fact, that is good move for him. He will grow as a player because Fofana will be a good striker for Chelsea in the future, guys. Fofana, the next drawback for me, I see him. The next drawback for Chelsea. So going to Union Berlin to develop, yes, and be ready for Chelsea in the future. This is a good move for Fofana. This is a good move for Detroit Fofana, guys. So that is the information. Fofana will go in on loan to Union Berlin. And what I like about his move is that no buy-by clause. No buy-by clause. And that is good from Chelsea. That is good from Chelsea. A player like Dito, who has the potential and who has the ability to grow and become world best number nine in the future. No, we should not sell him. We should let him grow because he's still young. Chelsea should let him grow because he's still young and prepare and be ready for Chelsea senior team in the future. So this is a good move for this draw for Fana, in my opinion. So let me hear from you and your thought under the comment section for this draw for Fana low move. Do you think it's good for him? Guys, let me hear from you. Zibala, guys. Agent Thiago Silva talked to Paulo Zibala about his transfer to Chelsea, the Ramos. And this is what Thiago asks Paulo Dybala, guys. This is it. Thiago Silva asks, asks Paulo Dybala if it is true that he is coming to Chelsea, but he didn't answer. He's a top player. He will be a massive signing for us. I would like it. So, guys, that is the information from agent Thiago Silva. In fact, Thiago Silva met Dybala. So, he asked Dybala about the rumors that he is coming to Chelsea. But Dybala did not respond. 
or the baller do not answer and that is what players do for professional reason and for official reason because he's under contract at different club so he can't speak he can't speak as of now roma is paying his wages so we have to keep quiet just have to talk to roma before getting to him so he for professional reason he can't speak because he's still under contract at different club and so many information also came that chelsea is not interested in signing dibala despite all the rumors guys chelsea is not interested in signing dibala despite all the rumors and do you think chelsea should go for him do you think chelsea should go for dibala guys let me hear from you and let me hear your opinion and when you look at dibala he is 29 years of age in fact he's a leader he has the experience and where Chelsea signed him in that aspect, being a leader and have the experience, Chelsea is going to benefit a lot from him, especially having the young squad and this kind of players being among the young squad. The guys will learn and will benefit a lot from Dybala. But Dybala is an injury-prone player, guys. And the intensity of the Premier League, can he withstand it? Can Dybala withstand it? And the demand from Chelsea, you have to be giving your best week in week out can Dybala withstand it guys that is my question that is my question can Dybala withstand it and he is injury prone player last season he missed 18 games due to injury for Roma a team like Roma who does not demand a lot my respect to Roma but a team like Roma who does not demand a lot 18 games missed due to injury can he play for Chelsea guys let me hear from you because missing this kind of games at Roma, coming to Chelsea, missing this kind of games, it is going to affect Chelsea a lot. Because this kind of players, they have the name, they have the brand. Yes, when they come to your club, they will receive huge wages. So them getting injured, being on the bench or being on the sideline, it will affect your team. So guys, let me hear from you. Should just go for Dybala and should just sign Dybala? Let me hear your opinion and your thought under the comment section. And Romelu Lukaku, guys. Romelu Lukaku refused move to Al Hilal and Juventus. And this is it, guys. Inter Milan are structuring a buy that will be worth about 35 million for Romelu Lukaku, inclusive of bonuses, and hope that will be enough to convince Chelsea. Lukaku has reassure Inter that he has no intention of moving to Juventus. However, has not accepted an offer from Al Hilal as he focused on returning to Inter. So guys, that is it. Lukaku rejected Juventus and Al Hilal deal and ensure Inter Milan that his main aim and ambition is to play for Inter Milan next season. So Inter Milan is preparing 35 million to submit to Chelsea, hoping that Chelsea will accept, guys. Hoping that Chelsea will accept the 35 million. And I am also hoping that Chelsea will accept the 35 million and let Lukaku go. Because Chelsea, we cannot keep a player who doesn't like our club. And Chelsea cannot keep a player who doesn't want to play for the club. Because no player is bigger than a club. Yes. So, guys, let's hope. Chelsea agreed to this 35 million because initially Chelsea won in Milan to pay 14 million for Lukaku. So they are bringing 35 million. 5 million not in. Let's hope Chelsea accept the 35 million and let Lukaku go so that our ears can rest in peace. So guys, let's pray. This is for all Chelsea fans so that Chelsea agree and we and our ears rest in peace so that all the noise so that all the noise every day lukaku lukaku to enter lukaku refuse lukaku this and this so that it will become over because if you don't like chelsea as a player you can go to anything you want because no player is bigger than a club so guys that is the information for romelo lukaku transfer and let me hear your opinion and your thought on all the transfers and all the discussion that we have guys and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far take care peace